Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. That's a good one. That's another 20. Look at him. Freeze, get him. Oh, yeah. Decent morning. What do you think we're going to do today, Cody? Hopefully find some sheep. Some sheep's head. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Captain Collier here. We are leaving the east end of Dolphin Island, Alabama right now in the sea hunt. And uh, it's time. It's time to come out here and get some of these sheep's head while they're spawning offshore at these near shore rigs. So that is the goal for today. We've got some filler crabs. I've got some dead shrimp. And I even have some barnacles in case we need them. Sheep's head are definitely out here. Hopefully we can get some big ones. We are still fishing the Convict Classic Tournament, or at least I am. So any big fish that I catch, I'm going to measure and enter for this tournament. And I think Cody may have caught like three sheep's head in his whole entire life i've shot more spearfish than they caught so. yeah so if y'all are new to the channel this is cody aka mr potato head <laughs> it's been a while since i've been on it yeah the og subscribers y'all know we're gonna quit rambling on here hopefully we can get out here and get on some fish if y'all enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing if you like all types of saltwater fishing let's get to fishing All right, guys, we have made it to our spot here. This is just a rig, probably about seven or eight miles offshore of Dolphin Island. And it is a beeper, and you'll probably hear that throughout the video, unfortunately. And what that means is it's an unmanned rig, generally, whenever they beep like that. So there's, no, there's not always someone on this rig. But y'all check out the screen right here, 50 foot of water, all that right there. That is spawning sheep's head. Got a 69 degree water temperature. We actually, or I actually just caught a stud just to make sure there was some fish here. We got him in the live well. I'm gonna be throwing most of my fish in the live well. Cody's gonna be throwing his in the box if we do keep some smaller ones. All right, so the setup I'm gonna be using today, this is a pin spin fisher. This is a 4,500. I've got that rigged up with 30 pound braid. Got 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. 2 aught gamakatsu hook, a little small egg weight right there. It's a knocker rig. And uh, you're probably wondering why I'm using such a heavy setup here. And I typically do use heavier setups out here because you never know when you could possibly hook a, a state record sheep's head. I don't know if y'all know, but I used to have the Alabama state record sheep's head, which was 13 and a half pounds before it was beat actually twice in the last five years. But you just never know when you might hook that big one. And if you're using a lightweight setup, you're just not going to be able to pull them out of the structure without them breaking you off. So as I was sitting here kind of walking Cody through how we're going to fish this rig, current's moving this way. So you kind of want to get your bait in front, let your bait drift back to the rig, to the structure. I like to keep my line just tight enough to where you can feel if you're getting a bite. And uh, whenever you feel the weight on the end of that rod tip, like I'm getting a bite right now, let them take it, let them swim off with it, and then set the hook. <laughs> Where you going, Cody? <laughs> I'm trying not to lose my face. Eat! That's a yeeter. 18 inch yeeter. So this is about the average size that we catch out here. And as mentioned before, all most of the sheep that I'm gonna be catching today, I will be releasing anyways. So I'm just gonna th throw them all in the live well here and then I'll measure them out and chunk them back one at a time. So we're starting out using these crabs. I don't have but probably two or three dozen. So we're gonna try and make the best of what we have and then i do have some dead shrimp as well and i've got some frozen dead crabs should work but there's also other species like spade fish and snapper and whatnot that will eat the shrimp so you just got to kind of fight through them there's another bite eat Let's see, so that is a, yeah, 18 and a half sheep's head right there. About the average size out here. 
and you'll notice as i said these fish are spawning so from time to time you'll see them uh you know doing their thing while we're out here so you gotta watch yourself so we're gonna try a piece of this dead shrimp here put a little small chunk on here I do like to peel the skin off so we got a little buffet for them there. It's a crab and a dead shrimp. Spade fish and the red snapper are really bad around these rigs. But there's a sheep on a dead shrimp. So that is obviously a female right there. You can see her belly is just slap full of eggs. Got him. Doubled up. Doubled up on the sheep. <laughs> on the spade. Good hook set, good hook set. All right, y'all, this is the first one that I caught. This is a 21 and a half inch fish. So we're gonna go ahead and get a good quick picture and release on this one. Cause we definitely want her to go back. He's gone. All right, we back in business. Went ahead and released all the other fish that I had in the live well. There you go, Cody. That might be, maybe, possibly. Nope, spade. Grab one of these crabs. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeet! Oh. I tried to yeet. I have not learned the art of the yeet thing yet. I'm gonna get in there and get the devils. <laughs> well, that might be my problem right there. <laughs> that tooth got that one. Yeah. Barb gone. Yep. There he is. That's a sheep. <laughs> you want to net him? There we go. Throw him in the box. That's an eater. Oh, yeah. Good eater. Well, they got to be 15. 12. 12. Oh, he's, he's, he's definitely good. Definitely. Yep. Yeah, this is a little bit better one. Maybe. Yeah, he's, he's net worthy. Boom. In the net. <laughs> Maybe. Cody has finally got the hang of things here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank you, sir. Yep. You'll notice they get even more fired up too as you start catching some. Yeah. Oh yeah. Need a net? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. It's a good one. That's another 20. Look at him. Free scoop him. Oh! <laughs> Did y'all just see that? <laughs> oh, <shit>. Dude. That's... <laughs> 20 incher on the line. And Cody's going to net it. And hooks free, uh, free nets to the other one. <laughs> Dude, look how fat that one is, man. Dude, that's a giant. That one is a horse. <laughs> that was pretty sick, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd be. God! There's a monster. Let's keep him in the boat. Don't let it go in the water. Oh. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a picture of this one and get her back. Oh, that's the new lunker, baby. What is it? 22, 22 and three quarters? Ooh. Dude, that's a look how many eggs that thing's got. Yeah. God almighty. Man, she is fat. 
<laughs> Show her off to the camera real quick. That is a massive sheep's head right there. Super fat. Definitely a female. Probably got thousands of eggs in her belly right there. We're going to get a quick release video, get her back in the water. Okay. Well, I got to say, for the amount of time that I've been fishing out here, I don't think I've ever seen someone free net a sheep's head like that, but <laughs> we, we did it. <laughs> if that tells you how thick they are, Cody's even catching. <laughs> yeah, you got to think, like, People come out here on these pretty days like this and actually get 10 fish a person and they got like four people on the boat. You could really put a hurting on these fish. So it's, it's best to uh, release at least the big ones. You know, I understand some people don't get to come out here and do this all the time, but these big fish are the ones that are making all the small ones. Yeah, we're gonna need, we're gonna need the net for this one. This might be one of them big ones, unless he's just playing with me. I think it is a good one. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby, that's another 20. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yes. I can't even buy a bite right now. Everything you get is just a record. Man, what a sheep. What a day. What a morning. We even got started. Let's get you on this board and get you back in the water real quick. That is 21 and a half inch fish. You stay right there. All right, so we kind of cleared that other side off. We moved to the other side. I do have some dead crabs here that I've had in the freezer for like probably three months. They got a little smell to them, <laughs> but they're working. <laughs> uh, we need to net him. He's a little thick. Yeah, more worried about the rod snapping than <laughs> him coming off. Man, I could see them. They're just right on them, them dang legs, chewing on them barnacles. Oh, yeah, you might need a new hook there, buddy. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, I got these. Oh. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, I might be able to get a double. Hold on. Yeah. Over there. Oh, right I might be able to get a double. All right, All right about to bring them to you. Oh, they're gone. Dang. <laughs> Very nice. Let's get a picture of that one with you. You need a good sheep pick. Yeah. You definitely caught the smallest sheep head so far. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. Go ahead and hey, that was on the bent hook, too. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Cody said you're catching 22 inch fish on that. <laughs> it's not a kamakatsu, it's a guy bless you. <laughs> was he way out here, too? He was here. Really? All the way out here, yeah. Throwing them back. They're gone. Yeah. Oh, that's, dude, that was a monster. I felt the weight on that joker. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. I think he's chewing on it. Oh, shoot, my line's way over here. Yeah. Sitting here, look, I thought my bait was over here. It was way over here. That's a big one. Maybe. Be good. You know, after you done caught, you know, uh, six or seven twenties, they all kind of look average. Boom, 22. Bye-bye. <laughs> Probably gonna move to one of these other rigs in the background, just so. Just so we don't have this annoying beeping sound because it is starting to give me a headache. <laughs> but it's hard to leave the fish when they're here, you know? Yep, don't leave fish to find fish. That is, that's a fact. But great thing about our area is there's just so many rigs out here, probably 
uh, a dozen, maybe two dozen rigs in probably a 15 mile area. And they pretty much all have sheep's head on them. Some may have more or bigger ones than others. Just kind of got to jump around until you get on a good little school. There's a bite. See, we let them eat on it a little bit. Come on. Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, no. He's going to the ring. No. Okay. We got him coming this way. I did go back to my lighter setup. I got broke off on my other one and just didn't feel like. Yeah, no. No. Nah, we'll eat him. Didn't feel like tying on but that's probably an 18 and a half inch fish we have started keeping a few of uh, the ones about this size here in alabama we're able to keep 10 per person at 12 inches to the fork very rarely will i keep any fish that small this is let's see this is a Oh, I'm sorry, 19 and a half. So I just yeeted a 19 and a half inch sheet. <laughs> That's why I need my big reel. That right there, that was a big one. That was a... 10 plus pounder. You've done good, troll motor. You've done good. Keep it up. Woo! What a beautiful hot day. Hot fishing, too. Cody, how many sheep's head would you say you caught today? <laughs> he didn't even fish as much as I did. 30, 40. 30, 40 fish. I probably caught 30 or 40 fish. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to put all of them fish in the video, but man, we had a good time out here. Released a bunch of fish. Still have some absolutely beautiful weather, but we're out of bait. We have caught plenty of fish. I've entered a lot for the tournament. I'll put a little screenshot of uh, where I'm at right here. If y'all wanna just keep up with uh, my standings and whatnot. But hey, if y'all wanna come out and do this, y'all book a charter with me. I've got some openings early April. Still be just as good out here. It'll start to uh, calm down probably mid to late Mar uh, April. But uh, right now they're biting good as you can see and having a good time while we're doing it so hope you all enjoyed the video i hope you learned something if you did please leave me a thumbs up consider subscribing if you're new to the channel until next time see you back out in the water